Hello there, this is Dave Allen for Mactronic Questions, and today I'm answering a question for Lisa Wagner, or Lisa Wagner, depending on how you pronounce the second name there. So what she wants to do is she wants to take a Word document and convert it into an EPUB format and open it in Sigil. Let's have a look and see how we're going to do that. Well, one way of doing that is to go to Google, do a search for places that will convert Word documents and convert it to clean HTML. Here's one I found called word to clean html.com. So what I've done is I've selected this here. So I've gone like uh, Control A and Control Copy, gone to Google Chrome and I've pasted this in here. And now I'm going to click on the button Convert to Clean HTML. So now we've got some nice clean HTML in there. So what I can do with this now is I can do a Command A, select all that, Command and Copy. OK, so here we are in Sigil. And what I want to do now is I want to paste that HTML in. So I'm going to double click on this to get to the HTML side of this there. I'm going to select that and I'm going to go paste. And let's double click on that again to go back to the WYSIWYG. And you can see it's actually come in rather nice. The only thing is, is that this here is paragraph text. You can see from this button here, the icon here at the top, that's paragraph text when we want it to actually be a header. So let's say that's going to be a header one. I can do Command and 1, put that as a header, move the cursor down using the keyboard and that's going to be a header two so command and two and maybe this one here is supposed to be a level three so I can just click on that button there that's going to make it a level three move that to there and that as a level two that one there level two so you can see now that the document looks pretty much the way it's supposed to look as per the original document so that works and then what you can do is if you want to, if you've got pictures that you've got to put in there. So we clicked on the icon to add a file into it. And now we're going to choose an image. Let's choose this one here. Click on open. And we've got an image in there. So let's say we want to put the image in here. I'm going to choose the image I want to put in there. I've only got one there so far. Let's just choose OK. And that's come in and it's not text wrapping. So let's do some text wrapping on this here. Let's go into this uh, HTML again. Put the cursor in there. So let's do my text expander clip. And now I've got this extra bit of code in there. So that puts some space around the picture and it'll float it to the left. Let's go back to the WYSIWYG again. And as you can see, I've got a nice bit of text in there with a picture and the text is flowing around the picture and everything's just wonderful. Lovely. So that's one way of doing it. Now, if you could do me a favor, I really would appreciate it. Click on the share button and share this video out to your friends. There are other places that you can send it out to as well, including Pinterest. And don't forget to click on the like button. Thanks a lot. Another possible way of doing this is to go to pages and we could go to file, export, export out to EPUB, click on next and click on export. So here's our photo editor EPUB. And I'm going to select that. I'm going to take to open with Sigil. And here we are in Sigil and it looks terrible. We've got big spaces in here where there shouldn't be big spaces. So this here is all the big space that we don't want in there and same here. And it's done an absolute rubbish job of bringing it in as an EPUB. And you'd have to go through all of that there to sort it all out. Let's just click on this here and you can see that the text in there is pretty awful looking as well. So here we are in Calibre now, and in Calibre we've got a photo editor. I've just exported this out of Pages. And what I can do is I can do a convert, so I can click on Convert Books and convert it to an EPUB. I've done this already, so it's converted into an EPUB. So in Pathfinder, this one here is the one I've just converted into an EPUB. Let's open it up in Sigil. And again, it's done a crap job of it. So here we are. This uh, first page here is actually an image. It's not text at all. So that's pretty bad. Let's go into this one here, which is the text that is brought in. And you know what? It looks OK. But if we have a look at the HTML, again, it's rubbish because each of those lines of text is a paragraph. So this here, that there is a paragraph. OK, here we are in Moo. OK, so this is what we've got from Pages. I'm going to paste it in like that. And that's not done a great job of that, has it? Because it's brought it in, but it's all in text and it's not put spaces in there. We want spaces. This is a little bit more fiddly because you've got to go to the beginning of the line and put in your markdown code. So this is going to be header two and that's worked out OK. So let's come down to where there's supposed to be another header two. 
And it's been more difficult because you've got to find where your, where your headers are. So this one here, laying down the layers, that is supposed to be a header. So let's just put in a header two on that one there. That's another way of doing this. But what I can do with this here, once I've got that, is I can do Option, Command, and Copy. I can go into Sigil, and I'm going to select that and get rid of it and click on Paste and put my HTML in there. It works okay, but it's a bit more fiddly and harder work. So I recommend that the best way to get your document to Sigil is to use something like this here, word to cleanhtml.com, convert it into HTML, go into Sigil, paste it in, in between the two body tanks, and everything will be just spot on, and you can have pictures in there after that. So Lisa, I hope that worked out for you. If you've got any more questions, let me know. Bye-bye now. This is Dave Allen for Mac 20 Questions and for Digital Book Maestro. Bye-bye now. Thanks for watching the video, and why don't you check out the other videos? Here's two of them. There's one video there and one video there that you can click on and go and have a look at now. And don't forget that you can also subscribe. Talk to you again soon. Bye-bye now.